Hello, back again, having a look at the RMC A2. There we go. Contract number 416330P. This jacket's about, it's going on about a year and three months, getting up to close to a year and a half old. I've been wearing it a lot, Wear it wherever I can, wherever and whenever I can. It's holding up quite nicely. I don't think I've really fully broken it in yet, considering the amount that I try to wear it. It's just a, a nice piece of the leather. It's, you can see that under, that's uh, in the arms, you can see that it's definitely molded to my arms. It's got some really nice creases, I guess you'd call them. Like nobody else is gonna be able to make this their jacket. Definitely my jacket. Uh, the scrape marks under the arms, there's a few little bits where the, the t calls kind of rubbed off. But they're few and far between. Uh, considering I, I haven't babied this at all, I haven't put in any leather soap, I haven't done anything to it, I just wear it. Uh, and considering that, with the lack of care and lack of attention, this thing is in incredibly good shape. And uh, it's holding up better than I thought. I was expecting I'd probably see a bit more wear come through and a little bit more of the t core rub off and go back to the natural leather. So that's the right arm that we're looking at at the moment. And again, that's the, the natural crease is based on my arm. The, the other color you'll see come through there is just the light. It is still black. Uh, all the way through, not even hinting at cracking to that next layer. Uh, quick look at the stitching. It's a perfect stitching still. Mm, yeah. It's just a bit of, a bit of fluff actually. So the, the wool knit stitching's looking great. Zipper, perfectly functional still. I remember when I, I bought this, I was told to be careful with the zipper because it was pretty fragile. I haven't seen that at all. Just zip it up like a normal jacket and no problems. Inside, looking great. No scratches, no dents, no blemishes. The collar, I'd mostly leave it clipped down. But you obviously can pop it up. Uh, I have popped it up a couple of times when it gets co cold or windy, probably more windy uh, or a little bit wet, uh, I pop it up. I have worn it in the rain a couple of times actually, uh, maybe more than a couple of times. It's probably been wet or probably 10 or 12 times. Um, sometimes sprinkle, sometimes full showers. It's held, held up nicely. I think the, the main thing you can kind of see now uh, versus a, a year ago looking at it is it's kind of a, just a little bit less shiny. So you can see that it's the, the horse, horse hide's still very, got a lot of moisture in it. It's still, it is still shiny, but you, it's starting to lose some of that shininess. It's still quite wet, so I don't have any concerns that it needs to be oiled or anything. But at the same time, it looks like it's starting to break in, finally. So here's the back of the jacket. And again, this is not a jacket that's been babied. I wear it, I throw it around the house. Obviously put it on the right coat hanger. Uh, in the cupboard's probably about the only really good thing I do for it. But I haven't treated it special at all. Use it, wear it, love it. And again, the The T core isn't really popping through back to the natural um, under natural leather underneath at the moment. It's the black is held up very nicely. Um, when you hear about this jacket, or when you see about this jacket, and your concerns about the T core and going back to that natural leather, what I'd found before buying this is when I was doing my reading that a lot of people were concerned that like it would go back to the natural leather color. Uh, here, oh, that's badly colored. There we go. That it would go back to the natural color pretty quickly uh, and wouldn't hold up over time very well. Um, it's fairly unsubstantiated wearing the jacket for over a year now, uh, wherever possible. Like it's, there's a few minor scratches. Man, the colors are going crazy today in, on the camera. Um, there's a few minor scratches as I was showing off before where I've scratched through um, under the a couple spots under the elbows, but they're kind of difficult to find. There you go. Like that's, that's really it after a year of wear, a little scratch there. 
and a little scratch on the inside of the arm there. So very happy with this jacket. It fits perfectly. It's molded to my body. It's still breaking in, I'd say. I think it's just starting to get there in terms of its, uh, its break-in after a year and three months, a year and a half. It's got a lot more life left in it and uh, very happy with the purchase and uh, look forward to many more years wearing it. So this is a review of the RMC A2. Thanks. And shout outs to uh, whoever asked for this to be uh, getting an update video. Uh, this was for you.